This is ESPN Esports. I'm Art O'Kell. Happy to be joined by Ibizi, uh, victorious so far in their homestand weekend here in Atlanta, Call of Duty League. Uh, must feel good to get a win at home. Oh, it definitely is. Uh, it's, it's so nice, and from all these fans, they're amazing. And I just, I, I'm excited for the rest of the weekend. Going into the weekend, everybody was already looking past every other team. They were talking about Atlanta, Chicago, Atlanta, Chicago. How much of that did you and the team allow to get into your minds? Or did you shut that all out and say, look, we got to focus on every team we're going to face? No, we definitely shut that all out. I mean, we knew we had to focus on every single team, make sure every match we're good for and we're like watching VODs on that team. And we're, we were just focused on every match, not just one match for sure. What was it like watching London from home? Oh, it was horrible. I, I couldn't stand it. It was the it was the worst feeling because I've been at every event like so far since I went pro and like like being like sitting at home after we came off two wins in Minnesota was just horrible. Hated it. But how cool is it that your return is at home with such a storyline rich, Chicago, the other teams here, but also being at home and also having that whole tiny terrors, youngest average age team in the league. Like there's a lot of interesting storylines going into this. Oh, for sure. Like being back at home, like for our first actual event is amazing. And I hope we can come out with the win. What was scrims like leading up to this? Oh, they were great. I mean, we have, everyone has those days where they're just like down and not like feeling it. And even those days for our team are not even bad days. Like we still fry and everyone picks up their slack whenever someone else is doing bad. But like no matter what, we're always like good vibes. What did you think of the Huntsman's matchup against Toronto if you had a chance to watch it? Oh, I, I, I saw like the last map and what happened. And honestly, I couldn't believe it because I feel like Toronto choked it pretty bad. Really? Yeah. Were you surprised that they took the Huntsman that far? Oh, it definitely was. I mean, I mean, I know Toronto's a talented team, but Chicago, if they're playing at the like at a good like pace and they're just playing well, then it's kind of hard to beat them. A couple more questions for you. Uh, domination g coming down to five minutes, search and destroy down to 90 seconds. Are you in favor of these changes? Oh, I definitely am because I feel like Dom was kind of long-winded sometimes. I feel like the maps lasted too long. And then s and I feel like it made it faster, which was, uh, was really good because our team is a fast team. Finally, the, the idea, there's a big conversation about whether every tournament should count as a championship win in this current structure, even if every team is not present. What is your opinion on that? Uh, I don't really have much of an opinion on it. I feel like you can, you can't, like, it's kind of different this year, so I'm not really sure, like, how to count those, honestly. Okay, yeah. Enough. You guys were absolutely dominant in your first game. In the first map, I think you had, what is it, 52 kills or something? It was like an incredible number in the first map. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean... We'll, we'll, we'll go to your stats guy. We'll go to Easy Mac and he'll, he'll, he'll tell us. Yeah, Easy, thank you very much for your yeah, time. thank you.